Now, the third tool that forms the three aspects of your energy management system, your third dimensional mitigation toolbox, is found within the center of your head and your higher mind. Seek the kingdom of God, kingdom of heaven rather, within. The temple is your mind, the center of your head and higher mind. Remembering, remembering, recalling who you are requires that you bring yourself into a present time focus. This is not difficult, but some attention and practice are required. There is a place within the center of our head that acts as a command center, a place where clear decisions can be made and actions can be set in motion. However, as we grew up, we learned to give up this place and trust the opinions and beliefs of others. Many times our mothers, fathers, and teachers, and ministers said they had a better idea of life and how we should live it than we did. We learn to give up our power to their thoughts and beliefs. We stepped away and relinquished command of our decision making. But most important for many of us, we stopped listening to our own internal guidance system. We gave up knowing our own truth and we lost ourselves. Wishing only the best for us, our mothers, fathers, teachers, and ministers showed us how to live and experience life, the right and wrong, good and bad, should and should not of life. They told us how we should behave, who we should be friends with, how we should move, and what we should do in order to be successful. Where did many of those thoughts and commands from your mother, father, teacher, minister go? To a great extent, they went directly into the center of your head, displacing you, moving you to the side. See only what I see. Do only what I do, you were told. You then began to view your world through the filters of their thoughts, their beliefs, and their experiences rather than your own. You grew up and these habits continued. You still allow others to get into the center of your head and establish their values, preferences, and goals there. You continue to give up your seniority to the many others you associate with, your colleagues, your spouse, children, and friends. You can change this habit. It is possible to begin to take back your power and own the center of your head and ask everyone else to leave. You are the owner. The others are just busy, although they may not see it then. Well, you may ask how to locate the center of your head. Place the index fingers of each hand on either side of your head at the soft spot where your temples are. Close your eyes. Draw an imaginary line from one finger to the other, creating a line that runs through your head from one side to the other. Now, without losing track of that line, move your fingers 90 degrees around the circumference of your head until one finger is in the center of your forehead, just above your nose and the other finger is directly opposite, at the back of your head. Draw another line between the two fingers, creating a line that runs through your head from front to back. Find the point where the two lines intersect and bring your full awareness to that point. Be at the point of this intersection for a few moments. This is the center of your head. Look through your closed eyes as if they were windows. Take a breath. I always suggest through the nose a count of six breaths in, count to six. And then on the way out, the out breath through the nose, ex ex expel the breath for a count of eight. Two seconds longer than the in breath. It activates the vagus nerve. With your eyes closed, with your eyes closed, glance out at the room around you. Don't try to see anything, but be aware of yourself in the center of your head. Look around the center of your head and create a special space there for yourself. Imagine a comfortable space you can easily spend your time, your life, in, within. It could be a room or a place in nature. Own this space. 
Take a breath. Get a good sense of where the center of your head is and what it feels like. Open your eyes when you're ready. Are you in the same place of awareness that you were just a moment ago? Does it feel different from where you were when you began the exercise? Most likely the answer is yes, because we, because being in the center of your head is not a place in which most people spend much time. Congratulations. This may not seem like a big deal, but trust me, it is a huge deal and will become more so. Do this exercise, exercise a few times to anchor this awareness for yourself. And you will begin to notice that it is not unusual to experience occasional noise or chatter in this space. Those are the energies and voices of the mother, father, teacher, minister protesting this change in you. It isn't you. Think of it this way. You are changing the game. Everyone who has been in the center of your head is now noticing. They may not like the idea of being a victim. They grumble and they protest. So how would you like to live your life in this space, in the center of your head, 24-7? Understanding who you are requires that you be in present time. Observing the outside world from the center of your head offers you that present time point of observation and awareness. This is an energy space that is not restricted. It can be animated and very excited, but it is a managed ener energy space. This is where you begin to know yourself, right here. You are moving yourself from the dense third dimension to this higher state of consciousness. And everything begins from the center of your head. In third dimensional terms, your higher mind is located 2.5 centimeters or one inch up from the center of your head and one and a half inches back, four centimeters. It's a place of stillness and is much more expansive than the center of your head. It's, it is in the higher mind that you begin to become aware of all that you are and all that you are not, or rather, all that you are a part of. And conversely, vice versa, it's necessary to clear out any energy that isn't yours from the center of your head before you are able to fully reside in your higher mind. As an analogy, you might see the center of your head as the stairway that leads to the still point of your higher mind. If the stairway is cluttered and filled with debris, it isn't possible to step into the sanctuary within your higher mind. The stairway must be cleared so you can navigate up to it. It is in the still point of the higher mind where all information can be found. The higher mind is back, it is quiet, and there is a detachment from the world around you. There is focus, clarity, and curiosity in the higher mind, but no questions are asked. It is through the higher mind that conscious contact with your soul begins. It is from here that access to the heart becomes available in a manner that is totally unapproachable from the noisy third dimension. Third dimensional words are inadequate to describe the state of awareness and ease that accompanies living from the higher mind. There are many important opportunities that arise by observing life from this vantage point, but none is more important than your reconnection to your soul. So the following exercise will show you the best way to discover and get a sense of being in your higher mind. How to be in your higher mind. Find a quiet space. Establish your grounding core and find the center of your head. Close your eyes for better focus and less distraction. As this tool becomes more natural to you, you will be able to find and hold this space with your eyes open. When you are ready, move your attention up approximately one inch from the center of your head. Then move your attention one and a half inches toward the back of your head. You might pretend there is a lock above the center of your head that you are stepping onto. Now return to the center of your head and notice the difference. Take a breath. Take a vagus breath. Repeat this movement two or three times to get a sense of the feeling and movement. Then move to the higher mind again and remain there. Open your eyes and see how long you can remain in this place. Notice when you drop out of your higher mind. Did you return to the center of your head when you opened your eyes? No problem. Both locations have value. 
Although entering the higher mind is not difficult, remaining there and mastering all that it offers is an eternal, eternal unfolding. Once staying in your higher mind becomes more natural to you, you will be able to move about your day from this platform of observation. Doing so will give you a much more expanded view of what occurs around and within you. Also, a much more ex expanded view of what occurs around and within you is to be had from hitting the subscribe button, learning about overcoming obstacles to your success uh, on this path, this golden age timeline to the new earth, staying tuned for further information disseminations and video broadcastings from the Ombanda New Earth Ashram for compassion and strength and higher dimensional living. Stay tuned, folks. Namaste. Namaskaram. <laughs>